there will probably be a problem on the GED math test where they'll give you the length of two of the sides of a triangle and you need to provide the length of the third side and this will always be a right triangle and in this kind of situation to find the length of the missing side you always use something called the Pythagorean theorem which is it, it will be on your formula sheet that you will have during the test and it is a squared plus b squared equals c squared now the a b and c all stand for the three sides of the triangle a and b are the two sides that together make up the right angle they're the two shorter sides of the triangle it doesn't matter which one is a and which one is b but they both have to be the two shorter sides so we'll just call this a and this side b c is always the hypotenuse the longest side so once you assign a side to a letter then you can start plugging in the numbers that you know so a squared you, s you know that a is five miles so a squared is now five squared plus b squared b you see is twelve twelve squared equals c squared c you don't know yet so you just leave it as a c so five squared means five times five squared is something times itself so five times five is twenty five plus twelve squared twelve times itself twelve times twelve is one hundred and forty four equals c squared now you can do what you can you can add one hundred and forty four and twenty five together so 144 plus 25, 5 plus 4 is 9, 4 plus 2 is 6, 169 equals c squared. Now you want to know what c is, not c squared. So you need to get rid of this square here. And the way you get rid of that is by taking the square root of something to get rid of it. So the square root of c squared is c. And c equals the square root of 169. The square root of 169 equals c. So now you just need to find out what the square root of 169 is. Um, if you have a calculator you can just punch in 169 and hit the square root button and it will give it to you. But if you can't use a calculator you just guess and check. So we just saw that 12 squared is 144 and 169 is a little bit bigger than 144 so let's try 13. To s let's try to see if 13 is the square root of 169. And the way you do that is you square it. So you square 13. You multiply 13 by itself. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1. 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1. Add that 169. So 13 squared is 169. Which means that the square root of 169 is 13. So 13 equals C. C equals 13. So now you know that this side is 13 miles long. Th there might be a question where they give you the length of the hypotenuse and the length of one of these sides. So they might say this is 13 miles, this is 12 miles, and ask you to find out the length of this side. Now you still use a squared plus b squared equals c squared but you need to change the formula a little bit so that you can find out what either a squared or b squared is so <clears throat> whichever one you're trying to find out you need to get by itself on one side of the equal sign so we're trying to find out what a is here so we want a to be by itself not with b so the way to get rid of something is to do the opposite operation. So this is plus b squared, so you do the opposite of plus, which is minus. So minus b squared to both sides of the equation. So a squared equals c squared minus b squared, because you do it to both sides. So that's our formula we're going to use to find out what a squared is. So now you just plug in what you know. You don't know A yet, but you know that C is 13 squared minus B, which is 12 squared. So A squared equals 13 squared. We just saw is 169 minus 12 squared, 144. So 
now you just subtract 144 from 69, which is 5, 2, so a squared equals 25. Now, to get rid of the square again, you take the square root, so a equals the square root of 25. So just think to yourself, what times itself is 25? And you'll get 5, so a equals 5, which of course we already knew from before.